Good morning, PHS. Today is Thursday, January 12th, 2017. I'm PTV's Devin Gritton. Joining me today is Plymouth High School freshman Matt Gerard for our first honorary PTV guest anchor of the new year. Thank you, Matt, for being here today and welcome to our PTV studio. Sure thing, Devin. I'm happy to be here and thanks, guys, for having me. We've got a lot lined up for you on the first show of the new year, so stay tuned because PTV starts right now. Let's get you started off with our SRT and after school meetings. Global Discussion Club will be meeting in room 146, and then there's a Robotics Club meeting after school today in room 141, and the Winter Winds will be meeting in the Music Wing from 3.30 to 4.30. Last Friday, January 6th, the second annual Lincoln Junior High Mini Dance Marathon was held. PHS Dance Marathon team leaders got to spend the day at the Junior High, teaching 7th and 8th graders dance moves, all while fundraising for a great cause. The 100 plus students who took part performed the dance they learned in front of their fellow classmates at a school-wide spirit assembly that was held at the end of the school day. Just over $3,000 was raised by Lincoln Junior High students who took part in the mini marathon. All of the money will go to Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. This Friday, there will be another mini dance marathon at Riverside, and all of that money raised will help the PHS Marathon inch closer to their $35,000 goal this year. Speaking of the dance marathon, coming up on Saturday, there will be the annual PHS Dance Marathon going right here at PHS. The students will participate in a day of fun where they will play games, hear stories from Riley students, and learn a dance which they will perform at halftime of the basketball game Saturday night. Their goal is $35,000 so we will make sure to keep an eye out on if they can achieve that goal. PHS JAG serves seniors in a classroom setting. To help you with life after graduation, you will get $50 a semester for attending school. You also receive 100 upon graduating. This club helps you prepare for your future and build relationships among the community. You learn social awareness skills and learn how to become a leader and develop your career. Each week here at PTV, we open our studio doors to a new face to sit at our anchor desk and guest anchor our show. So many students have come forward and we really appreciate your volunteer efforts. Our class is very cool, but as we've said in the past, there's only five of us in this classroom this year. This year, the class was closed off to nine other schools surrounding the corporation after being shrunk down to only an hour a day. So we are continuing to look for honorary guest anchors. No work is required on the part of the anchor besides showing up during third hour or homeroom when we record the show on Tuesdays. It'll be fun and you get to see a little bit of what goes behind the scenes here in our PTV studio. To sign up, just email one of us here at PTV or email our instructor, Judy Likowski. On Wednesday, Plymouth High School will open its doors to host an open house and freshman orientation. The event will be held from 5.45 p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. The event is a freshman orientation for 8th grade students who will be making the move to high school in the fall. The evening was traditionally designed to create a smooth transition for students transitioning from 8th grade to Plymouth High School. But during the past few years, the event has evolved into an open house designed to not only welcome incoming freshmen, but also to give those who are interested in transferring to Plymouth schools a chance to come peek inside and see what type of programs the corporation offers. Displays will be set up in the PHS cafeteria. Parents and students will have the opportunity to visit those displays and speak with staff members and current students about programs and courses offered at Plymouth High School. And then three different breakout sessions will take place here at PHS. As you all know, that is a new year and the total cliche, new you. And here at PHS, many of you do make re New Year's resolutions and end up being a total success or, well, a total bust. So we sent out some of our crew to get the scoop on some of your guys' resolutions. Let's hear what you, some of you had to say. I'm not a real big resolution guy, believe it or not. Um, but 
but if I had one, it would be the concept of um, just living every day uh, and being as positive as I possibly can and welcoming all new challenges that, that we're all going to face. Um, and again, just to try and be as positive as I possibly can. My New Year's resolution is to exercise a little bit more and get in shape to do a mini triathlon this summer. Is, I'd say, watch what I eat and just exercise more. My New Year's resolution is to be healthier. My New Year's resolution is to buy a house with all the harder and safer. some issues, family issues, health scares over the first semester of school. I want to be able to spend more quality time with my family while they are still here. My second one is to read more just for pleasure. All right, guys. Well, be right back with PTV Sports and our popular trivia time right after this commercial break produced by our friend Tyson Matheny. See you in 30 seconds. Hi, I'm John Bon Jovi, and you're watching me on PTV News. Radio and television broadcasting is a one-hour, dual-credit, year-long class held in third hour for all PHS students. From the rock pile to the sideline to Notre Dame games to the theater stage, the options are endless. Each week as a team, we produce a fast-paced show right here in the TV studio. Sign up today. Stop by the counselor's office to enroll in radio and TV broadcasting. Welcome back, everybody. Let's check out what sports are on the PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. Tonight, the girls' swim team is traveling to Northridge for the NLC meet, and then the freshman girls' basketball team is home against Concord at 6.30 p.m. The freshman boys' basketball is home against Concord at 7.15. At 7.45, the boys' varsity wrestling is on the road at Concord taking on the Minutemen. Then tomorrow, our pilgrims are back in action here at The Rock as they go head-to-head -head, taking on the Concord Minutemen here at home at 6.15 p.m. This graphic was created by Jesus Baca in his digital design class. If you are interested in making some cool athletics graphics like this for us, it's not too late. Just hit up our instructor Judy Likowski or Faith Calling via email and they can hook you up so you can start building a cool digital graphic resume of your own. Moving on to what's cooking in the lunchroom today, we'll be having chicken alfredo, broccoli, fruit and vegetable bar, and garlic breadsticks. Last week before break, our PTV trivia time question was, what year did the movie Die Hard come out? The classroom that called in the right answer first was Mr. Cope's WSOY room, my alma mater. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet prize. Our signature prize, donuts. Congratulations to Mr. Copes and his class on winning the PTV Trivia Contest. And by the way, if you're wondering what the answer was, it was 1988. It's everybody's favorite time of the show, trivia time. The trivia question for this week is, what actor played the little boy in Home Alone? If you know the answer, call extension 1241 Again, the question is, what actor played the little boy in Home Alone? Call extension 1241 for a chance to win. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Until next time, I'm Devin Gritton. And I'm Matt Gerard. Stay tuned next week for the latest and greatest in PTV news. Have a wonderful rest of the day, PHS.